いくらでもお金使えます楽しいから全然お金使ってももったいないと思わない I literally just said that since I'm having such a great time, I don't feel I'm wasting my money. Because women, they want to feel good, they want to be in good atmospheres, and they want to have good times. They don't care about money, they don't care about anything. As long as it's a good, fun time, dude, the song Girls Just Want to Have Fun. I mean, that, that's the secret code right there. They don't care. These girls get into debt. I, a friend of mine, she was addicted to these host clubs. She's an American girl from Hawaii. You know, she's a nice girl. She's a, she was a bigger girl, big Sherby. Her name, was, her name is Shirley. <laughs> God, I hope she doesn't see this. <laughs> But she went to fucking debt. She went into fucking debt, like going to these host clubs. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, I just love it. I love it. I love these guys. They make me feel so good. And these dudes are fleecing her. I think she got like $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 in credit card debt going to these fucking things. American girl getting fleeced. <laughs> 払う価値がある。一切に。もう言うたら僕にお金を使いたいだけの気持ちで、結構女の子、なんかこう、男の子のためにしたいっていう子が多いんですよ、日本人って。男のためだったら何でもできるみたいな子が。だからホストクラブってあるんじゃないですかね。でも一番高くて、僕が今まで知ってるので、300、400ぐらい、一人のお客さん。40 G's in the day, one lady. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. This guy is so funny. BS Profile says this stuff is mind numbing. I'm telling you, there's levels to the game. Look, everybody screaming on the internet about 304s is one thing, but to watch stuff like this and see how game and understanding the, the language that women speak, it's an international language. You know, that's why I can pick up a girl anywhere in the world because I know how to present myself, I know how to stand out. I know how to can talk well. I know how to dress well. You know, I don't look bad. I'm a good looking guy. And on the international scene, dude, forget it. I have choice. I, dude, I deleted my bumbles and all my dating profiles and shit because it's just too many fucking leads. It's just too much bullshit. I'm just like, oh, God. You know, like, like Issei was saying earlier, you get to a level where you master it and like dealing with these just is stressful. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I tell everybody, you know, you got to find an out. You got to find an out. Or, or you look for a girl and get out the game because if you stay in too long, you become jaded, you become all messed up in the head. And, you know, especially if you're staying in the game too long and you don't have the game figured out. Because even if you have the game figured out, you know, it's not healthy to stay in the game consistently your whole life. It's just those people are typically damaged. They're very good at hiding it, they're very good at, at pretending like they're normal and shit. But, you know, down the road, You know, these guys in their 40s and 50s and stuff, like, it's just like, I want to go for a young girl, young girl, young girl. Like, will that young chick be around in 20 years when you're 70, you know, and she's just turned 40? Is she going to be, you know, is she going to wipe the drool off your face? Is she going to wipe your ass? Is she going to be fall into a coma? Is she going to take care of you? Is she going to peace out? Because all you're doing is chasing your ego, chasing, oh, I need a hot girl, need a hot girl. No, that's why everything's so fucked up. Hot girl, dude. Woman's beauty is it's meaningless if she's a, like a dog shit person. And unfortunately, a lot of women that are beautiful are dog shit people because beauty is power and power corrupts. You know, it's just, and it, and it goes back to what I was saying earlier about game. You have to figure out the two parts of game. The first part is getting to a girl, getting on a date, having sex with her. And then the second part is vetting her and figuring out is this girl good enough for a relationship? Or is she going to ruin my fucking life? Like most women are statistically doing to most men in the United States of America, ruining their life. And you think you're going to figure it out because you're fucking top alpha male and you didn't, you don't reach out for help. You don't have to ask for any guidance. You don't get any coaching, anything like that. And you think you're going to beat the odds and you still haven't done it now. And you're, what are you, you, you know, in your 20s, early 20s, mid 20s, you think you're going to figure it out? You're in your 30s. You still fucking try your late 30s. You're like, oh, I'm going to figure this out now. I'm, gonna, I, I'm almost there. 
No, it's cope. It's cope. You have to learn game and you need to learn how to vet women. It is so important right now in our current dating marketplace. If you do not learn how to vet a woman, you will consistently get burned and burned and burned and burned. If a girl gets to grill cheats on you, you're like, oh, I got cheated on. And you're like, well, what are you what are we expecting? What are we expecting when you see all these red flags and then later you get, you know, you build an attachment, and then you get hurt. What are you expecting? 